When Ellen this is breakfast by candlelight because today's Tuesday and the power to say is something. back not on. What were you about to say? Ella White, when her mom came, she bought spicy sauce and she likes it. Ella likes it. Really? Ella likes spicy sauce. She likes spicy sauce? Uh huh. Really fun. The second day. Really fun. River's learning tricks. So I just emailed back and forth with some people at the office and they say that they have power there and internet. So I'm going to get a shower, get ready to go in to the office probably a little bit before lunch. Using the time to do some writing. What have you thought about the power outage? I love it. I love it. Because I get to swing on day. So one thing I'm going to try to do since reading the book is create more of a calendar schedule of the day so that I can focus on getting more things done. River's getting ready to go either to Amy's house or to Carolyn's office. I'm not sure. Carolyn's office is so far away. I'm going to die. I'm going to throw up. No, you won't. Our lights were out on the way in to the uh, Marta station here, but it looks like Marta's still running. And um, when I pulled in, the train was pulling out, so I got about 10 minutes probably. This train is bound for airport station. Very few people out today. A generator's running here at the office for some reason. I guess that flag got ripped in the uh, storm. So instead of just moving the branches, they put some cones out. Oh, people are so lazy. Heading home. Today was uh, busy catching up on a bunch of stuff since yesterday. It was pretty much out, and then this morning was kind of late arrival. Um, so putting together a bunch of reports and all kinds of different things um, trying to get the specs progressed further and tomorrow I need to continue working on those because those are really going to drive a lot of the information that gets put into the drawings power came back on in our house um, probably around 2.30 or 3. I think Carolyn spent most of the day somewhere at Amy's house. And um, now I get to go home, heading home. Probably have a lot of stuff to clean up though. Usually there's a lot of uh, dishes and stuff. Um, tonight I'm supposed to prep my chicken dinner like usual and I don't know if, I've, I don't know if we've got a chicken thawed or ready for that. The thing I did today was I laid out um, in my calendar, I had my calendar open all day today and I went through and I actually continued to update my calendar and what I was working on as I was working on it. Um, so I was shuffling things around, expanding timelines, um, overlapping anytime I got an interruption 
or request from someone, I would uh, indicate that and, and put it in my sequence of um, events that are happening. So if I've got a larger block of time that I'm trying to work on one particular thing, like marking up drawings or doing specs or kind of getting information put together that's on my schedule, if that it gets interrupted, then I I put it as I put it in the calendar when it happens, and I go ahead and take care of that item because the eruption interruption has already happened. So I might as well go ahead and take care of it. Um, but then that ends up expanding the time that I had dedicated towards um, doing the thing that I was going to be working on to begin with. So. Um, I'm just kind of trying to keep track of how many times I get interrupted during a day um, for some other task that could possibly be grouped together and um, fed to me when I actually need to deal with it. Um, not every interruption is a time-sensitive interruption. Most interruptions are actually not time-sensitive. They're just uh, convenient for the person that is interrupting you. And I notice myself doing the same thing to other people. So it's kind of a hard habit to break. I'm in an open office and so it's very collaborative, but at the same time, it can be a huge distraction and interruption from the thing, the time that you need to spend to focus on something. So I'm trying to track that and see how those interruptions affect my overall planning of what it is that I want to do and get done um, so a lot of my day was kind of managing that and that was that was kind of fun to do that and I'm gonna continue to move that over to tomorrow and just uh, work everything out on my on my calendar there and then Thursday I'm traveling up to North Carolina <laughs>